I guess, A, what's your response to that? And did you sense some, I don't know, just initial, maybe natural even hesitation from some of those veteran guys who had done it one way their whole careers, now they're asked to do a lot of things completely different. Was that just sort of a natural sort of transition for those guys, like you said, yeah. and they, not having maybe the, the recall of what you guys were asking them to do? Or, right. I think, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, obviously with a new, new staff coming in, new calls, new terminology, yeah. I think... Um, you know, maybe, oh, that's not how we did it. You know, we, we did it this way before. I think that I've been on a lot of new staffs, and that's kind of the, always the rub, and we kind of got to make sure everybody's gelling together. But I still think we played some pretty good defense last year, too. We scored a lot of touchdowns on defense with all those talented players, and, and even some of the guys that are playing now that were reserve roles but got in there and, and were making plays for us. And so, you know, I, I just think collectively, you know, def excuse me, football in general is a team sport. So yeah, I know we had a lot of stars last year, but it's a team sport. And when all 11 guys are on the same page and we're all doing what we're supposed to be doing and we're all attacking the football at the same time and we, and we have some pretty talented players out there, we're gonna play great team defense. Great running back, senior quarterback. What are the unique challenges about Utah? Yeah, they are a very hard-nosed, tough football team. Um, you know, senior quarterback who slings the ball. Uh, he's got an excellent arm. Uh, he's got two really good wideouts, a six-year senior that has probably seen it and done it all, and number two, and, then, and that Cubby kid, the freshman, has really uh, you know, created some noise in the Pac-12, makes a lot of plays. But it all starts with that guy in the backfield, Booker, okay. number 23, okay. another talented running back. It would be very cool. Uh, you know, you hear a lot of the NFL scouts talking about this guy as, as being a guy uh, in the draft here in 2016, and he's definitely going to be uh, job number one for us. Uh, we have to stop him, and then after that, we're going to have to worry about those wideouts and, and that quarterback. How about Wilson's running ability? I mean, for a guy that tall, mm -hmm. he's pretty mobile, and he can put his uh, head down and go get the big yards. Yeah, no question. He's a big, physical guy. They have, there's no hesitation for him to pull the ball out of there, try to bowl over DBs and linebackers and D-linemen. I mean, he, he, he is a tough, competitive guy. And so he's going to be a, a big challenge for us. Turnovers. You're starting to get them in bunches lately. What's what's going on? What's changed? Is it just the evolution? These guys are getting more mature? Uh, no, I mean, you know, it, it goes back to we had, got, we had a lot of turnovers last year. Uh, and we started off getting some turnovers this year. And so I think it was only one game we didn't get any turnovers was the uh, – um, I believe it was the Oregon game, I believe, it was the only game we didn't get any turnovers. So uh, we've had turnovers uh, throughout the year. It's always an emphasis. And, um, you know, we just, we got to cash in on their mistakes when the offense gives it to us. But then we got to create turnovers when, when we're not getting some. So um, it's always an emphasis every single day uh, in our meeting rooms and, on, and, and in practice. Were you fortunate right before half on the jump ball? Yeah, very fortunate for sure. I mean, uh, we it, it was good that the other, uh, I think it was JoJo McIntosh came in and hit the receiver, and then the ball came out. Uh, but yeah, those uh, those 50-50 balls up in the air are, are very scary. And we've seen Sports Center highlights for a few weeks now of a Hail Mary getting completed before halftime at the end of the game, and, and luckily that one landed in our lap. Uh, JoJo, obviously.